Experts say fun and games can become a matter of life and death when people target their aircraft with laser pointers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Roosevelt Leftwich. Last month, Ocean City banned the sale of laser pointers to miners after someone took aim at a medevac chopper as it attempted to land to pick up a trauma patient. Today, as ABC2 News' Jeff Hager tells us, pilots from law enforcement agencies throughout the state gathered at Martin State Airport to give us a first-hand look at a laser pointer's potentially deadly effects. When they climb aboard these four-and-a-half-ton helicopters with 1,600 horsepower whirling above their heads, Pilots know time is of the essence. So if someone is involved in a very bad accident, seconds are critical. So if the pilot has to wait to readjust his eyes, especially when he's committed to making a landing, the seconds are critical. That's why pilots are now taking aim at the people who would target them in the air with laser pointers. To quote a famous quote, Houston, we have a problem. Um, Baltimore, we have a problem. Six times in the last six weeks here in the Baltimore area, pilots have become the targets of the lasers. Sergeant Ron Wines describes its effect as he hovered over western Baltimore County pursuing an armed robber. I can tell you firsthand, uh, very disconcerting, very disorienting. Pilots decided to give us a firsthand look. Okay, you can shut the lights off. You good? All right, they're coming dark now. With the chopper submerged in darkness, you can see the brilliant green light bouncing on the pilot and reflecting off of shiny objects inside the cockpit. There's no mistaking its blinding effect when directed into the eyes. You have your rate of climb, rate of descent, and your, alt your altimeter, and then how fast the main rotor blade is spinning. Pilots like Dino Kalush can be blinded up to 30 seconds, making it difficult to guide their aircraft. You still have to watch all the instruments across the flight station and then have to land. And then on top of all that, you're providing critical care to the patient and the medic that are in the back trying to save this person's life. At Martin State Airport, Jeff Hager, ABC2 News. Now, in the recent incident in western Baltimore County, police not only captured the robber, but they also directed officers on the ground to arrest the person aiming the laser pointer. He faces charges of reckless endangerment, second-degree assault, and misuse of a laser.